Good morning ladies and gents. Our dog here. Welcome to the hunt. Back of the Outer Banks. You guessed it. It's not the uh, real Outer Banks, but that's what I nicknamed it. Uh, so much amazing stuff has come out of this water. So I'm going to hit it again. Right now what's happening is runoff is just about to start coming down the mountain. Fast and furious. So what they do is they let water out of the lake so that we don't flood, hopefully, when the water comes down. Um, so if you catch it at the right time, it's a low spot in the in the lake level which i'm hoping i can get into this section over here i tried the other day a couple weeks ago and i couldn't get in there it was too deep so i'm hoping i can reach some stuff there's a ladder over there so it gets uh swam quite a bit even today so yeah so that's going to be the hunt we'll see what we can get up to i want to thank you all for all of the support for the channel um just awesome i'm i'm so grateful and uh, so we'll call this the 4,000 subscriber giveaway and I'm going to give away a metal detector. I got a uh, simplex that I'm going to give away. We'll get into all that in the wrap up but uh, it will be a comment from this video that's picked to win the metal detector. Let's get after it. On to the hunt. Got a 13 here. I found my um, small CKG scoop. Pretty happy about that. It was in the snowbank. I think I missed, but I'll check. I don't think so. Not sure that this water's down. I haven't gotten to that end yet, but kind of looks like it's up a bit. That's not it. Let me get some. Oh, yes, we did get it. Okay. That right, is going to be a piece of a fishing lure, spoon. Awesome. First find, better than pull tab, right? Twenty five. Wow, that never happens. Another penny. Pretty uh, modern. modern penny and some kind of little copper nail. Huh. Okay, this is how it goes when you make YouTube videos. The very first signal I did not record is a ring. It didn't even sound like a penny. It just sounded like um, iron kind of. Wow. Okay, that's tarnished up just like silver does. Cool, that's tiny. I think it's kind of folded over, but um, yeah, that's that's cool. That's that fourth target, fifth target. There, we got a ring. Right on. Let's keep it going. Oh, this one sounds good. I just lost a target here. That's why there's so much crap floating around. Sounds like there's more down there, but I think I got the, the 27. Oh yeah, heck's that. Oh, ooh, that water's cold. Um, that's the top of an incense burner, I believe. People tend to do a lot of uh, rituals and stuff. I don't know if we call it rituals, prayers, or let's call it that. On the shoreline here by the lake, so stuff like this ends up in here. Big chunk of brass, though. Got a 17 in the rocks here. Try and clear a couple out. 
couple of the big dogs. Oh, my uh, detector just came apart. Ooh. All right, Houston, we got a problem. Okay, I'm out here looking for my uh, my screw off my um, detector here, which just fell in the water, which I believe is brass. I'm not sure. I think I got something in here. I might have to just rig it up. I don't want to spend all day looking for that. Hopefully I have it. Nope. Back to the drawing board. All right. I went to the truck, got some tape, Jimmy rigged it. Now I'm headed back to that spot. Maybe I'll find my bolt and then I'll uh, work my way down to that guy's keys. See if I can find his keys. I have his card. He said he just lost them like a week ago in there. So, uh, but they're right at the bottom of the stairs, which is, uh, was too deep for me last time. So hopefully I can reach them, but I will uh, let you know what happens okay <clears throat> I am in a patch here of targets everywhere so that's the first that's American nickel I will uh, show them to you as I dig them all right I'm still working on them most of them are iron actually um, that looks like a square nail yeah square to me um, yeah I'll keep going if there's anything cool in here but um, mostly coins I think I've got four dollars and uh, a lot of iron like uh, like that and uh, rusty bolts same spot another dollar sounds like there's another one under my coil hang on it's definitely a spot where all the heavy stuff settled Good Lord. As soon as you turn the camera on, you can't get anything in the scoop. There it is. Another dollar. Wow. No jewelry out of here yet, but there sure is a lot of targets. Interesting one here. Two. I don't know what that is. It looks like a quarter, I guess. And a bottle cap. Okay, I made it all the way down to the stairs here. I can't really detect because uh, then my arm's right underwater, but um, I should be able to just see this guy's keys if he just threw them in here. I think he was feeding the ducks or something and then pretty hard ground here so uh, I don't think the keys would have sunk oh this water's going over top of my suit not cool
Okay, I'll turn you guys off. I'll let you know if I find these keys. All right, ladies and gents, a little update here. I pulled the plug on the hunt yesterday. I just had enough. My dam was busted. I was soaking wet and cold. So uh, I'm back, day two. And uh, we took a pretty nice layer of coins and crap out of there yesterday. So hopefully we can get some cooler stuff today. And uh, I brought a bag to get those uh, cans. There's a bunch of cans down at the end there. I'll get them out of the water. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can find something cool in here. Back to the hunt. 21. I'm going real slow here. Because what happens is you rip through it and then you stir up all the mud. You lose all your visibility, so yeah, we got her. Penny. We got a couple targets here. I can see that one, that's a coin. This one is a seven. Which I like because uh, it's a good gold number and uh, it's pretty loud, so it's gotta be something substantial. It's not a little piece of foil, I don't think. Got her. Come on, gold. Oh, look at that. What is that? Come here. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Hang on a sec. That is a little tiny motorbike. Oh, that's going to be stainless ringing up seven. Almost everything stainless I dig rings up ten, but um, seven, it's pretty small, so yeah. Okay, well that's an interesting find. Awesome, let's find out what this other target is. Here. Yeah, it's a toonie. It's two bucks. Whoa. Okay, settle down. Got a hero of a high tone, but it's in these rocks. There we go. That's about what giant silver rings sound like. Be very surprised if this was a penny. Eight time lucky. Yeah, we got her. Ah, look at that. Come here. Awesome. Maybe too high for, oh no, that's gonna be a silver ring, I bet. Oh, it looks like it was gold plated. Maybe that is copper or brass then. Could be silver with gold plate, it happens. Okay, cool. It's a ring. Only been here about 45 minutes. Can't complain. Let's keep going. Oh, it's a five right here. I think it's a ring. Five is a good number for rings. Oh, uh, it's an earring. I don't know what that is. That looks like rust. There's something written on there. Usually when these uh, ear pieces are flat, they're quite often precious metals. So we'll check that out. But um, I don't know what that yellow stuff is. Could be just like seaweed or lake weed. Okay, cool. Let's keep going. Not sure what that is. Some kind of pin. It was in the scoop of the nickel. Maybe a button. High tone here. I, I've made it down to where this guy threw his keys in. 
but it is so deep. I missed. Oh, there's a penny in there. Two pennies. Okay, still looking for these keys. Look at this weird find. That is the tiniest little pair of scissors I've ever seen. Okay, baby scissors, let's find these keys. All right, I just dug about 100 pennies. I can't believe how many are down here. And this was a 25, that's copper. Skulls, I guess those are. Some kind of face on there, okay. Weird high tone. Ah, oh, look at that. Well, there's no, uh, huh. There's no clasp on that at all. Okay, we'll test it for silver. It's not very tarnished and it's, uh, was a high tone, so it could be. We'll check it out. All right, we found a key, but uh, I don't think it's his. He said keys with an S. Uh, just to, I'll just show you where I'm at here. It's really cool. Right along this dock here, it's gone shallow here, which is odd. But um, can you imagine what's been lost off this dock? There's hundreds of swimmers off this thing every day in the summer. So we'll hit it, and then we'll head out. American Dime. I don't know what that used to be. Okay, this was a high tone dime, which normally I would say is a rosy, but um, this one's Canadian. So we might have got a silver dime. Yeah, that's Young Liz there. Maybe silver. I think Young Liz is, well, there's probably both, but whatever. We'll check it out. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. Get the heck, this that sounded terrible, obviously. It sounded huge. So we got the nail and the uh, weight. And let me just put it away here. Good Lord. And this, that looks like King George V. Where'd he go? Yeah. Wow. King George V quarter? Yes, please. Awesome, let's keep going. Look at this scoop. Sixteen cents. All right, I think we might have another silver dime here. A few hundred pennies. I'm working my way down this wall here, and uh, it's just mind blowing what's in here. Not a lot of mid tones, but uh, high tones everywhere. We'll keep going for a bit here. All right, these were in the same hole. And that is another Young Liz dime. I am blown away. This is actually the oldest shoreline in the city. Uh, this wall's been here forever, so um, pretty mind blowing here. I'm just the uh, modern pennies. I'm just rail dumping them on the brick wall here. Somebody can pick them up, but um, there's a lot of old stuff in here. Cool. Missed my target on that one, but we got a marble. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, as promised, the giveaway. Um, once again, I really appreciate everybody's support. Um, so all you got to do is leave a comment in this video. You must be a subscriber. And um, I will draw a uh, from the random picker out of the comments in this video.
and uh, we'll give this away. So this is a Simplex, Nocta Macro Simplex. A friend of mine bought this. He was going to Florida. He used it for two hours on the beach. Oops. And uh, decided it wasn't for him. So, uh, yeah, so I gave him his money back and bought it. And that was, uh, I don't know, about six, seven months ago. And I don't think I'm going to use it. So let's give it away on the channel. Somebody, uh, I get lots of comments about uh, they'd like to try the hobby. So here's your chance. All you got to do is leave a comment. There is no fee to get in the draw. And YouTube has nothing to do with the results. On to the wrap up. All right, ladies and gents, welcome to the wrap up. Um, that was, second day today was awesome. Uh, first day, not so much, but that's how it goes. Sometimes you uh, run into problems and you just don't feel up to it or whatever. And so you call it a day and you come back when you feel better. And uh, we amazing day today. Got so much silver out of there. It's crazy. We did not find any gold on this hunt and that's okay. So let's start with the clad. We got about, um, I don't know, $10, 11 in clad. Not bad, up for a water hunt. I usually do better in the parks, but uh, we got a marble hole, but that's not even half the pennies. It's just crazy how many pennies are in there, but you gotta dig them. That's, we got so much silver today that uh, rang up like pennies. Uh, square nails, that's pretty cool for me. I never find uh, square nails. Most, most of my treasures are modern, so um, that's pretty cool. Two sizes, a little button. Um, the little skull ring is copper. And this one is copper as well. It's got little flowers. And we got some really cool coins. We got two um, American dimes from early 2000s. Young Liz nickel. That one's not silver. Um, I think that's pure nickel. And two Young Liz dimes. 163, 164. Both silver. And the hero coin of the day is definitely that. That is a 1919 king george the fifth 25 cent piece awesome and uh we got a ton of more silver we got uh this is really cool this is a very old signet ring i think it's got a b on there and it's marked uh sterling and it's also marked 10k so this would have been a plated silver ring at one point uh but it is just ancient super cool the little earring is 925 the bracelet is also silver um, I don't know, or I guess it could be part of a necklace too, but, um, yeah, it's a nice big chunk of silver. It's weird that it has no clasps on either side, but, um, the little motorbike, super cool, awesome find. And I'm not mad at those little pair of scissors. How cool are they? I don't know what that's from. Maybe a pin, maybe a hairdresser's pin or something like that. Super cool. So everybody get their comments in for the draw. Um, I forgot to mention, um, as long as your country allows stuff like that sent in, I'll send it anywhere. Um, so yeah, get in the draw. Thank you all so much for joining me. See you on the next one.